Now, the Aussie kids with a rare genetic condition which makes them constantly hungry. They have an insatiable appetite, always in search of something to eat. We go live to Brady Halls and Brady, it's a nightmare for these poor kids and a nightmare for their parents too. Yeah, in, indeed, Cam, indeed. Yeah, the home behind me may look like any house in suburbia, except inside, it's a vastly different story. In fact, there are only a handful of homes like this in Australia where the kitchen is like Fort Knox, a completely locked down, secure room. And there's a very good reason for it, because young lives are at risk. It's 3 a.m. and he's grabbed a knife. But the only sinister thing on his mind is to break into the pantry. Like a drug addict, he's got to get his fix of food. It's a battle for these kids. It's 24-7. They're constantly hungry. And it, it's cruel. You know that feeling when you're hungry? We use that well-worn and completely incorrect statement. I'm starving. But imagine if you were starving every second, every minute of every single day. I can't stop eating. Do you think about food all the time, Yes, mate? yes. I'm hungry all the time because I'm hungry. And now imagine being the mother or father of such a child. You can't help but get emotional with this story, can you? Because it's your children, and you would think that there's help out there for them. Sorry, I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> Tonight, you'll see a cruel disorder that outsiders like us have probably never heard of. We just see a fat kid and say or think something negative. How frustrating can it be for you sometimes, pal? Very frustrating at times. They live in homes where fridges, cupboards and kitchens are treated like a reserve bank vault. Otherwise... They will go out and they will eat themselves pretty much to death. It's got a funny name, but there's no humour in Prada-Willi syndrome. A small part of chromosome 15 is missing from their genetic makeup. Kids are generally born short with small hands and feet, but most of all, it causes insatiable hunger. He can't control the urge to find food. <laughs> Brett Dolan is Nathan's dad. Nathan is 16 and weighs 137 kilograms. Is your tummy growling? Yes. And in the middle of the night, are you still hungry then? Yes. A few nights ago, Nathan's younger brother forgot to padlock the fridge before bed. This is what happened. With his parents' permission, we put in this camera a few days earlier, expecting to see Nathan just searching for food. But on this night, with no impedance, he emptied the fridge. Normally, this family is incredibly vigilant. However, vigilance is no match for Prada Willie. Two o'clock one morning, he went to the cupboard, found a screwdriver, and took all the screws off the latch. Because the screws were on the, the outside? The screws were on the outside, like the old style latches. The screws were on the outside, so he unscrewed it all and had himself a feast at two in the morning. How much did he eat? He had six bread rolls, a whole tea cake, a jar of peanut butter and a jar of honey. A whole jar of peanut butter? How does that taste, a whole jar? What's that like, mate? I don't know. You can't remember it? You just remember just eating and eating and eating, eh? It felt good at the time, though. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, mate. What would happen if, if you didn't have these locks on? If we didn't have the locks on, he would literally eat himself to death. Does he actually make himself sick because he's eaten too much? Unfortunately not. He doesn't have a regurgitation reflux. So Goodness he doesn't me. vomit. He doesn't get sick over it. He just, after he's finished, lays down, goes to sleep, and gets up at the next morning and says, what's for breakfast? So if you and I were to eat too much or drink too much, we would, we would be sick and bring it back up again. And that doesn't actually occur, um, which means that their stomach could, could burst. If your stomach bursts, then, then normally that results in death. Some Prada Willy kids show no sign of obesity. It's all because mum and dad have kept my weight down and done a very good job <laughs> at it. Kate's son Jack and Lynette's daughter Nicola were given growth hormones from an early age before they started gaining weight. Those not caught early suffer the repercussions. However, while hormones might keep the weight down, 
it doesn't suppress the appetite. This is growing. It's like a heroin addiction. It's mm. like it's like me telling you don't breathe. Mm. You cannot tell them not to eat. They're always looking for where they can get the next piece of food from. They're looking for an opportunity to steal money. Um, they're just always on the lookout. Kids have been known to escape home and raid supermarket dump bins at night. Nicola and I were in the supermarket shopping and someone had left a half drunk milkshake on the, on the shelf and before I knew it, Nicola had picked it up and started drinking from it. And at school, you know, if there's food left on the ground or a lunchbox that's left open or anywhere that you go, you think about every situation in life, there is food and you have to be watching like a hawk. When 18-year-old Henry Zaraz weighs 170 kilograms. Do you go out? Do you go out much? No, sometimes. And you, it's hard to go out yeah. because when you do go out, there's always food around. Yes, food around. If you see food, do you pick it up and try and eat it, mm. do you? Yeah. You can't help it. Yeah. Breakfast is over and Nathan's mum, Sue, is locking up again. And Sue, so, this is the way it is every day. Yep. Yeah. Every, every time you want to open the fridge, you've got to get the keys out. Everybody's got a key, except him. Except him. Yes, except... <laughs> yes, you. Yes, you don't you. have a key. If you had a key, there'd be all sorts of troubles. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching his calorie intake. Do you do this every day? Yeah. Do you meet that target? Um, most days, there are days where he's actually pinched some food and, and yeah. it's gone over, or... Um, Brett deals with most of it because yep. he's got more willpower than me. I, I'm a bit soft on it yeah. um, because, it, you know, it's a bit hard, you know, he cries and, and, and screams and, and everything. But Brett's really good with things like that. Yeah. He really looks... It's tough love. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is, definitely. One answer is this. If they know they can't get it, they're OK. Kate and her husband spend three quarters of a million dollars of their own money on this home with its lockdown kitchen for her young man Jack and other independent seeking teenagers with Prada Willie. But so far, only Jack has been given limited government funding for a carer here. Everyone else just has to make do at home. We had to renovate the bathroom and get the shower enlarged because he couldn't fit in a standard size shower. It's a lifelong struggle, isn't it? It's something that we're going to have to deal with for the entire time that he's alive and it, it makes it really hard for us and him. When was the last time you and Sue went on a holiday? I think my last holiday was when my wife and I got married 20 odd years ago. So. Families become reclusive because you can't go to that family barbecue. Mm. You can't go to Christmas dinner because you have to always be grabbing food away from them or watching them the whole time. There is virtually no government help for these victims. In fact, governments don't really recognise the disorder, even though it's been genetically proven to be a chromosomal abnormality. Obviously, they don't think Prada Will is important enough, uh, which is sad because, I mean, there are a lot more of these kids out there than people realise. One in 15,000 births is a Prada Willy baby. And there is no cure, but Professor Leslie Campbell, a senior researcher at the Garvin Institute, says there are a number of trials underway trying to develop a drug to stop the brain from craving food. One other drug is also in trial for appetite in Prada Willy syndrome. We might be just a few years away, do you think? We might be. I think the fact is there's a hope. Nicola's little brother Tate, who doesn't have the disorder, sure hopes so. She say, can I have that apple? Apple, apple, she'll ask you a lot of times until she gets an answer. I eat a one bit of a time. One little bit at a time, eh? That's what you've got to do, isn't it? Yeah. Some days you want to give up, but you, you look at these children and you look how special they are and you say, I can't do it to them. So you fight. You fight for your kids. You've got lots of friends and yes. you've got a smile on your face. Yes. So you just take each day as it comes, yes. eh? Yeah. Well, here's to a happy, bright and healthy future for you, mate. Yes. Wish you all the best, Henry. Yes.